welcome to my opinion here on my opinion tv don't forget to like share subscribe click the notification bell so as soon as a video is released you'll be one of the first to be notified and this morning we want to talk about a tragic incident down there in effortville in clarendon where a child is left without a mother and a father after they were killed in separate incidents on the weekend now jamaica has a large amount of kids without either a mother or a father based on crime and it is so sad that we will be seeing kids growing up fatherless or motherless because of woodlums who decide whether or not a person should live or die now according to the gleaner it says a four-year-old has been left orphaned after his parents were killed in separate incidents in Effortville, Clarendon on the weekend. The incident happened just a little more than 12 hours apart. The child's mother, 33-year-old Camilla Ellis of Effortville, was shot dead by a gunman in the community last night. Reports from the Maypen police are that about 8.14 p.m., Ellis was walking along the roadway when she was attacked by a gunman who shot her. The police were called and she was taken to hospital where she was pronounced dead. Information reaching the gleaner is that the father of Ellis' child visited the community this morning, that's yesterday morning, to retrieve the child after the mother was killed. He was then gunned down. His 48-year-old Fernando Morris otherwise called Rowan of a Gregory Park, Portmore, St. Catherine address. Reports are that about 8.45 a.m., Morris was in the community when he was chased by several armed men who opened gunfire at him. He was taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead. Detectives to the May assigned to the Maypen police are investigating the circumstances surrounding this death. Well, this is so tragic. After the mother lost her life, the father went to collect his child and he was chased and killed. Now, I think this is definitely an attack on both parents sent, trying to send a message. Maybe they wanted the man, so they killed the woman. I can't see it any other way unless the police say, else, some, say something else. Now, the child four-year-old now is left wondering without a mother and a father this child will be scarred for life he will grow up and heard about the death of his mother and father just hours apart i don't know if it's a situation where they and the baby father had a had a problem and they wanted to take him out but clearly based on how they got to him they wanted to take him out because he was chased and killed. The mother of the child, I don't know how she would get involved in this and her life be taken out. But we all know the cliche in Jamaica. If you can't catch Quaker, you catch him shut. And there's a possibility that she was used as a bait to draw out her baby father, Fernando Morris. Now, all we can say is... We hope the police will get to the bottom of this and the perpetrators of this crime will be caught and be put away for good. No child should suffer the indignity of not growing up to know either their mother or their father. Could it be a case where um, the, the baby mother, Camila Ellis, maybe ended a relationship and she was taken out because she said no to a relationship. I don't know. I'm just saying that's another theory. However, you can't rule it out based on the fact what has been taking place in Jamaica lately. As soon as a man and a woman can't make it together, a life is, is taken because the man feels the woman is obligated to him. But you know what is this? In the midst of all of this, while the death of the parents is so bad, the four-year-old child is going to be left a damaged child. He has to be taken 
into good care, good hands, and nurture properly. Because kids like these, if left unattended, will grow with bitterness and try to seek revenge for the death of their mother and father. At four year old, he would be getting used to his mom. And depending on how regular the father visit, he'd be getting used to his dad. Now, I don't know the circumstances what led the father to decide to go for the child on his own because after the death of the mother i guess he might have been hearing something i don't know if he know anything and he just decided to use bravery and go for the child but one would have one would have figured it would have maybe been wise for him to seek police refuge to go for the child but then again we don't know anything about him and we don't know if it's cronies are attacking cronies i don't know it's just sad to see a four-year-old child being caught in the midst of this losing both parents and have to live his life with either family members or total strangers just because his mother and father some hoodlums decided that they should not live well let me know what you think in the comment section don't forget to like share subscribe click the notification bell so as soon as a video is released you'll be one of the first to be notified until next time be safe look out for a loved one look out for the children look out for a neighbor and most of all keep it locked on my opinion tv